evening everyone and welcome back to the Thomas and MLP Leisure World and tonight we're going to be doing another Ertl review but this time it's one of the models that my parents got for me from Colchester. Okay let's bring him in and it's Percy the Saddle Tank Engine. Ah oh, this is amazing. I finally have an Ertl Percy. Yeah. His face is nice. Buffers could use a bit of work. Oh, and did I forget to tell you that all of these models are second hand. So, of course, they might not be in all 100% perfect condition. Would have liked it if they could have painted his boiler bands red, though. And his cylinders green. And even his running board white. Yeah, that would have made for some nice detail. Yeah, um, should have gave him a rear loop coupling hook. Is that how they do it? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, and his number is a uh, 18670. Yep, um, he rolls really well. So, I think we've pretty much covered everything about Ertl Percy. So, time to give this beauty a test run. Okay, so we've got Percy at the top of the slope there. And in just three seconds, we're going to see the little green saddle tank engine race out of that water tunnel. So, here we go. Oh my. Wow, Percy did not even crash there. That is something thrilling. Okay, but how is he going to do going down the incline of the pirate ship? Let's go. Tip it to one side. Might get a coat hanger to try and... Push him. There you go, Percy. Oh, sorry. Hold oh here, hold oh here. Okay, and he's in that incline cavern there. Let's just give him a little push. So he goes round the other side. Oh, yes. Come on, Percy. Get in there, mate. Come on. Wow, Percy made it. Well done to Percy. Yep. So that covers everything for this review on Ertl Percy. And as always, thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up, request and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.